Hello, in this video we will apply the limit theorems in solving the following. So what are the limit theorems? So here we have the limit theorems. The limit of a constant as x approaches c is still that constant. Since this is a constant function y equals k, then uh, uh, whatever value of c is, the value of the function will go to k. So this the limit of a constant it's, is still the constant. Number two, the limit of x as x approaches c is c. So uh, since y is equal to x, then if you make x approach c, then y goes to the same value. So the limit of x as x approaches c is c. So here you can have here, for example, the limit of 1 as x approaches 5 is still 1. And then here the limit of uh, x as x approaches 5 is 5. And then the limit of a constant multiple of a function, you can just put that number outside, the limit symbol. And then the limit of a sum of two functions can be expressed as the sum of the limits of uh, the individual functions. And this can be extended to um, more than uh, two addends, so more than two uh, functions here. You can have also uh, more than two. Also, if uh, you have subtraction, this will also be minus. And then the limit of the product of two functions as x approaches c is equal to the product of the limits. Now, this can also be extended to uh, more than two functions. Number six, the limit of the quotient is equal to the quotient of the limits provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. And then the limit of uh, the power of f of x is equal to the power of the limit and that is also equal to the nth root so the limit of the nth root of the function is equal to the nth root of the limit of the function so these eight uh, limit theorems can be applied in solving the following for example we are given with the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals to and the limit of g of x as x approaches c is negative 4. So this one can be written as 3 times the limit of f of x as x approaches 2 by applying this limit theorem number 3. So that is equal to 3 times limit of f of x is 2. So 3 times 2 that is 6. How about this one? This one can be expressed as limit of f of x as x approaches c minus the limit of g of x as x approaches c. That is by applying limit theorem number 4. And then limit of f of x as x approaches c is given to be 2. Minus limit of g of x as x approaches c is negative 4. So 2 minus negative 4 is 6. And this one can be written as limit of f of x as x approaches c plus um, limit of g of x as x approaches c squared. This is by applying limit theorem number 4 at the same time limit theorem number 7. Here we add, uh, here in the addition we applied limit theorem number 4 and here for the squared we, we applied limit theorem number 7. So we have limit of f of x is given to be 2 plus limit of g of x is negative 4 so negative 4 squared so you have 2 plus 16 so that is 18 okay let us have more examples let us have a limit of uh, f of x times g 
of x as x approaches c. So this is going to be a limit of f of x as x approaches c times limit of g of x as x approaches c. That is by applying limit theorem number 5. So limit of f of x is 2. Limit of g of x is negative 4. So times negative 4, you have negative 8. All right, number 5. We have limit of uh, the square root of f of x plus uh, 2 as x approaches c. So this is going to be square root of the limit of f of x as x approaches c plus the limit of 2 as x approaches c. This is by applying limit theorem number 8 and limit theorem number 4 simultaneously. And then this is going to be square root of limit of f of x is 2 Limit of 2 is 2. That is by applying limit theorem number 1. So limit of a constant is tail that one. So square root of 2 plus 2, so that's square root of 4, which is 2. Okay, let us have another example. Let's say, for example, we have um, limit of uh, f of x over uh, g of x as x approaches c. So we have limit of f of x as x approaches c over a limit of g of x as x approaches c. That is by applying limit theorem number 6. So we have limit of f of x is 2 over limit of g of x is negative 4. So simplify, that's negative 1 half. That is by dividing both the numerator and denominator by uh, 2. Okay, this time, let us have a different given so, so that you can practice with fractions. Let us have fractions this time. Let's say we have uh, one half. And this here, we have uh, negative six. Okay. So let us solve... Uh, limit of f of x minus g of x as x approaches c. So we can separate this, but uh, we will substitute this time. Uh, we, we, we can separate this and then substitute, but this time we will go directly to substituting. So we will have here limit of f of x as x approaches c, that's one half. Minus the limit of g of x as x approaches c, that is by applying theorem number 4, we have negative 6. So minus negative 6. So this is going to be 1 half plus 6. And the least common denominator is 2. So this is 6 over 1. 2 divided by 2, 1 times 1, 1 plus 2 divided by 1, 2 times 6, 12. So that is 13 halves so 13 halves or actually from here you can already have one half plus six so six and one half okay so it's okay if you have uh, 13 halves or six and one half how about if we have limit of um, f of x over g of x as x approaches c. So that's going to be limit of f of x as x approaches c over limit of g of x as x approaches c. So f of x is 1 half over g of x is negative 6. So that's 1 half 
times dividing by negative 6 is the same as multiplying by negative 1 6. So 1 times negative 1, so negative 1, 2 times 6 is uh, 12. So this one is negative 1 12. So that's it for uh, limit theorems. Please like and subscribe. <music>